If you don't have anxiety, it can be kind of hard to explain. Sometimes it's compared to some form of paralysis, and indeed there is a component that involves freezing in place. But I like to see it as more as taking shelter from a storm. You stay within your bubble because you're terrified of getting wet, but at the same time, you wonder how everyone else can move so freely. You're constantly bombarded with a stream of what-ifs and I-can'ts, unable to realize that the only thing truly impeding you are your own thoughts. Sometimes you do realize it, and yet you remain stuck in place. It can be crippling. Very rarely have I seen something that captures this feeling as well as slow start, and from as many angles as it does. The premise is quite simple, we follow Ichinose Hana as she enters high school a year late due to circumstances outside of her control. While the premise initially comes across as a simple gimmick to disguise yet another excuse to show cute girls flirting with each other, there's a dearth of resonance not so far below the surface. And the way the show goes about this is truly clever and cringeworthy. Now, cringe is typically associated with bad cosplays and attempts to seem cool, but the way Slow Start goes about utilizing cringe is something that is utterly affecting and uses the nature of the medium to its advantage. In addition to Hana, we follow three other main girls who are essentially your typical archetypes. There's the Genki girl, the Dandere, and their take on the prince trope. But the difference being that they're all turned up to 11. And this leads to many moments and depictions of anxiety made more realistic through their absurdity. Take for example Tama. She's a Genki girl I mentioned earlier, but rather than feeling typical, there's something about her scenes that feels just a touch off. She comes across as someone who's putting on an act, or just plain trying too hard. There will be often moments where she blurts out some insane attempt at a joke, or an obscure reference, and be greeted with awkward silence instead of a laugh track. In essence, people are rarely willing to play into her antics. And while the resulting reaction can be cringeworthy, I think that's the point. As much as I love them, there's no such thing as an actual Genki girl, at least how they're portrayed in anime, and Tama shows just how absurd one would be. At the same time, the show uncovers more of how she works as it goes on, and she begins to feel more like a real person as a result. I'd like to imagine we all have that friend who makes weird jokes that don't always hit, but she loved them all the more for it. And the moments where we get cracks in her facade show just how caring and demure she can be under her Genki guise. While Slow Start dabbles in using the absurdity of anime to reinforce moments of realism, it also acknowledges the inherent absurdity that comes with anxiety. Because for all intents and purposes, anxiety is defined by being illogical. Hana and a later character, Hanen, continually fixate on things that don't really matter. In one episode, Hana is so overcome with anxiety over a screw she finds in her apartment to the point where she can't sleep at night. And while at face value this seems absurd, that's how anxiety works. In science, there's a process called positive feedback wherein small disturbances cause greater and greater disturbances until the system reaches catastrophic failure. Anxiety tends to feed into itself, spiraling out of control until you shut down, or in Hannah's case, someone can pull you out of your fixation. You can end up with this kind of reverse self-serving bias, where all your accomplishments are downplayed for your failures, and Slow Start explores this brilliantly. Slow Start makes me cringe because its situations often don't make any sense. In one episode, Kamu forgets to wear her skirt to school because she was thinking about her crush too much. But that only serves to illustrate her dependency on Eiko and the first step she takes in being more accepting of others. Her dilemma of choosing a high school only because she thinks her friend might go there makes me cringe since that's ridiculous. And also because I chose my university for the same reason. The scientific term for cringing is vicarious embarrassment. Recent research shows that we experience this even if no relation to its cause, and it triggers the same areas of the brain that are associated with experiencing pain. What this boils down to is that cringing is empathy, the ability to put yourself in another person's shoes. In a couple of weeks, I'll be graduating from college after six long years. The first two that I spent in that expensive university were tough, and marked with loneliness as well as a lot of anxiety. There were times where I'd miss one assignment, which turned into two, which turned into missing an exam. Even recently, there's always an inkling of, well, might as well give up when I get a poor grade on a midterm or if I was faced with a hard assignment. 
Slow start makes me cringe because I personally resonate with Hana and Hanan so much. The show does such a great job at the depiction of their respective anxieties, the thought that they're somehow failures of human beings, that I can't help but relate and yell at the screen, you can get through this. Because really, it doesn't matter if you had a slow start. All we can try to do is finish strong. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And of course, if anything I said was wrong, I'm sorry. I must have stuttered.